390 million dollars were stolen in crypto and web3 last month alone july 2023 in different hacks scams and rug pulls hello guys it's johnny time and welcome to another video about web3 security today we're going to cover all the recent acts that happened last month one of the most catastrophic month for crypto since this the beginning of this year july 2023 where so much money almost 400 million dollars were stolen we as a community need to get better at security education and awareness in order to get mass adoption to web3 and blockchain technology therefore i make this video for you so you can learn what happened this month and we will go and overview and see every single hack that helped those stolen funds we'll see what are they assembled on what kind of different techniques were used and how the funds were stolen so without further ado let's get started <laughs> So I recently stumbled upon this article that summarized all the funds that were stolen in DeFi and Web3 security last month in July. And this is catastrophic, guys. You can see that they compare the July total losses compared to the recovered money in July 22 and July 23. And in July 22, we lost $80 million. We were able to recover seven. And last month, July 2023, we lost almost $400 million dollars and recovered also seven so it's already four times more than last year and it basically means that we are in a bad place and we won't get mass adoption until we are able to reduce this number and if you want to join me in this task to reduce this number make sure to subscribe to the channel and learn more about web3 and blockchain security here they show some charts since the beginning of the year of how many funds were lost we can see almost 1 billion dollars and out of this 1 billion dollars we were able to recover only 13 million dollars this just shows you how hard it is to recover funds when there are web3 hacks security breaches because of the nature of the blockchain which is immutable so when hack happens the blockchain moves on the state moves on we cannot recover the state we cannot change the database and alter the records no when funds are stolen without making a blockchain fork like happened with ethereum and ethereum classic there is very low chances of getting the money back and you can see this kind of chart that shows you by month how much money were stolen and almost every month we have more than 100 million dollars stolen this is super bad and we need really to improve as an industry now at least we are better in terms of years so in july in 2023 we lost 1 billion dollars compared to 2022 where we lost 47 billion dollars in last year so we got better it's still bad 1 billion dollars is a lot of money and also in these statistics we have here in may the terra luna collapse which was a market cap of 40 billion dollars that were just wiped and disappeared from the world from the wallet because of the devaluation of the luna token and the ust dpeg all this event but at least we got lower right from 47 mil billion dollars to only 1 billion dollars so this is an improvement but we did not finish the year yet we are only in july let's hope that these numbers get better here we have a basically separation by chain. So we can see in which blockchains we lost the money last month, this $390 million. Most of the money were stolen on Ethereum blockchain, but some of it like $23 million on Base, which is the new blockchain by Conbase. Some of it on Binance Smart Chain and ZK Sync blockchain, Arbitrum and Avalanche. But the majority was stolen from Ethereum blockchain. Now here we have the types of exploits that were used to steal the funds. The most common exploit, the most common vulnerability is the access control vulnerability where 
almost 30, 300 million dollars were stolen. The second one is re entry attacks, which is another common vulnerability in smart contracts. And we also have rug pulls, phishing and Oracle issues and exit scams. By the way, guys, if these terms are not familiar for you, like access control, re entry attacks, phishing, anyone to contribute to the space, we need you. We need more Web3 security researchers, white hat hackers that will help to find these vulnerabilities and report them in a responsible manner to the protocols before those bad actors are willing, are going to exploit them and steal the money. And if you are interested to become a white hat smart contract hacker, I have prepared the best training program for you. This is a practical smart contract hacking course where you will learn about all these vulnerabilities that I mentioned by doing. We have plenty of exercises where you will have to hack smart contracts using re entry attacks, oracle manipulation, access control vulnerabilities, and much more taught and led by me and other leaders in the industry, the best smart contract security researchers are gonna teach you how to become a white hat hacker. You also gonna get an exclusive access to an awesome community with all the other rest of the students so you can meet people and ask questions and embark on the journey together. In addition to that, you will have a final exam and once you complete it, you will get an official certification of White Hat Smart Contract Hacker, which you can showcase your skills with and increase your chances of getting a highly paid smart contract auditor or blockchain security researcher job. If you're interested, check out the link in the description below. Now let's see what kind of protocols and projects got hacked and how we got to this huge number. So the biggest hack was multi-chain. Multi-chain was the biggest decentralized bridge, not that decentralized as we know now uh, in the blockchain and Web3 ecosystem and $231 million were stolen mainly from the function from the phantom blockchain. Now this vulnerability was a traditional Web2 vulnerability. The private keys to the wallet that holds all the reserves, all the bridge reserves on the Phantom blockchain were stolen. So someone stole those private keys and got access to this wallet and took all the funds from the wallet. And this had catastrophic effect on the Phantom blockchain and the whole Phantom ecosystem. And this whole money basically led to collapse of a lot of protocol. And I think also to the Phantom blockchain in general, it wasn't the fault of the Phantom blockchain or the protocols on the blockchain, but the ecosystem is just broken just of this bridge hack. If you want to learn more about this hack, check out the other video that I prepare where I go deep dive into this hack and what are the effects on the ecosystem. The second biggest hack this month is the Viper compiler bug. This is a $50.5 million bug that funds that were lost and it affected multiple protocols. The main of them is Curve. If you are not familiar with Viper, Viper is the alternative language to Solidity and there was a bug in the compiler of Viper, which means compiler is the one who is responsible to convert the Viper language code, the high level language code to the byte codes and eventually the machine codes that are running on the Ethereum nodes. And since there was a low level bug in the compiler, th this is catastrophic and it's considered a zero day bug because it's like a compiler low level bug. And this compiler bug led to a re entry vulnerability, which by the way, we're gonna learn about in the course as well. So check it out. And this re entry vulnerability led to catastrophic results where different Protocols were affected, such as Metronome DAO, JPEG, Alchemix, and Curve Pools, and in total, more than $50 million were stolen. Now, the next one is a rug pull. A rug pull means that the admin just steals the money from the smart contract right? So we know that smart contracts are supposed to be decentralized and immutable, but we have ways to make these contracts centralized and mutable. We can use proxies to upgrade a code, or we can define special accounts with special rights like owner account, like minter account. And this BAL token was deployed on the new Coinbase layer two blockchain, the base blockchain. And the deployer, the admin of the project just stole the money by withdrawing all his liquidity. He left a backdoor in the smart contract and he stole all the users who provided liquidity, which brings to total of 12,000 plus ETH 
which is around $23 million. This is super sad and we shouldn't trust in smart contracts that are highly centralized. The next one is Alpha for Hack. This is $23 million Hack, CFI, Access Control Hack. This is, you can imagine, like a bank account that got hacked and the private keys got stolen. This was a payment provider, payment provider service for cryptocurrencies, and someone was able, they said it, it's Lazarus Group, but someone was able to hack their system, steal their private keys, and steal all the money from their hot wallets. In total, they stole from Bitcoin, Tron, and Ethereum chains $23 million. And the last one, here we go again, Poly Network. Poly Network is a protocol that got hacked previously last year and around $200 million were stolen. Now there was another vulnerability, access control vulnerability that led to $10 billion were stolen through this vulnerability. There was some kind of access control issue with the smart contracts and the attacker was able to generate signatures and basically steal funds from multiple blockchains such as Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, and Meta. In total, $10 million were stolen. And again, this is sad, but this happens in Web3. We have those hacks and scams and rug pulls every day. We need to decrease this number. Let's do it together. Now, if you want me to make more deep dive videos about different hacks, please feel free to write it in the comments below. I read all the comments and listen to your suggestions and I can make other videos about other protocols and other exploits. So please ask me anything you want in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and smash this like button for the YouTube algorithm so we can educate more people together and decrease this number together. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.